Yeah, we got to find you. Got to find a way uh, to get in the end zone. We knew coming into it that was you know going to be important for us, and um, you know we'll have to take a look at it and see you know exactly what the issues are. But uh, we had our chances. We moved the ball. We put ourselves in great position uh, a handful of times. Special teams opening kickoff. You know, put us in in really good position. And uh, when you're playing a good football team, you know, in, in an important game. Uh, you have to find ways to score, and uh, you have to take advantage of those opportunities, and that's something we have to be better at moving forward. But we'll take a look at the uh, at the film tomorrow and try and make those corrections as we move forward. And uh, according to the analytics folks, you all playoff folks are down to 2%. How do you all move forward into the Detroit game? Still a chance, you know. What's the, so you're saying there's a chance? Isn't that the old movie line or whatever? Uh, listen, I, I've seen – I've seen crazy things happen in this league. And so uh, we've got to hold up our end of the bargain. And uh, that starts next week. And so uh, when we get back to Atlanta, we've got to find a way to have a really good week of practice, get ourselves in position um, to play well next Sunday, and, and keep that narrow focus uh, and see what happens. Right, you talked about the, the red zone a little bit. A lot of teams, it seems like, take pride in when you need a yard, being able to get a yard. You guys had seven plays today where you needed a yard for either a first down or a touchdown. You Got to be better, you know. Uh, one of seven is not good enough uh, in short yarded situations, and uh, you know where where you just need a yard. We, we've got to find a way to, you know, really convert those at a high level. And uh, good football teams do that, and we weren't good enough at that today. And so it's got to be an area of concern for us, and something that you know we work on this week. But um, you know, I, I wish I had a better answer for you. We got to be better. Why is it that the, the best version of the Falcons hasn't shown up consistently in those games against the best opponents? I don't know. I, I, I think uh, I keep going back to the, you know, we have to be opportunistic. We have to take advantage of, of the really good opportunities that we have. And in important games, when you're playing good football teams, um, you know, they take advantage of those. And we, you know, we haven't done that. And so, um, again, it's it's got to be, you know, a point of emphasis for us as we get back into practice of, you know, when we get turnovers, when we get short field opportunities, it's got to there's got to be blood in the water. You have to go attack, and you got to find a way to to get the job done and get in. Uh, first of all, was Cordero Cordero only in on that on that play? I didn't see. I mean, I always say yes, but uh, I didn't see the. I didn't see. I mean, I only saw a little bit from from outside there. It it, it looked tough to tell. Yeah. Uh, now, from the outside, you would look in at that first. Uh, you know, I'm not sure, you know, again, we have to look at, you know, specifically when you watch the film of where we didn't operate as well as we needed to. And, um, I, I don't know that, you know, my, my back's turned on, on a lot of those things to, to know, you know, what happened, but we'll, we'll take a look at it and, you know, we'll try and rep it and, and, and improve there. And, uh, sometimes, you know, you just, you have to harp on the smallest of details in those uh, type of situations, the combination blocks, the, the physicality, or even in the passing game, just the, the level of precision has to be higher uh, down there. And, um, you know, that's something we need to work on. I guess I guess the question is why, uh, why throw it twice in that possession rather than just try to pass it in? I, I suppose when the two, when you pound it and it doesn't get in, uh, it makes you reconsider what you're doing. And so, you know, as a player, I, I never – I never overthink those things. Our, our responsibility is whatever play comes in to, to make those plays come to life and, and, and to make them work. And uh, I think we can, you know, whether it's run or pass, uh, collectively be better. And, um, you know, there, there's no rule book on what you have to do in those situations. We, we, we just, whatever is called, we need to find a way to get it done. In the early timeouts, well, what was happening on there? It looked like you were telling them. Yeah, I mean, that, that, those they happen once in a while, you know. Um, it's just part of it. You have a motion on. I was a little bit down on the clock, and um, that's just that's part of, of the game from time to time. Going back to the, the conversation about the red zone, Russ was talking, and he was kind of just saying, you know, things get faster in the red zone, and, and he used the word settling and, and the idea of settling in the red zone. I mean, 
how do you kind of talk to these guys about being settled in the moment when you get inside the room? Yeah, I think, you know, I think the level of precision uh, goes up. You know, the space is smaller, and so the windows become smaller. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's always important, you know, timing, spacing, you know, those things are always important, but it's magnified down there because just there's, you don't have that vertical threat. You don't have the backup threat. And so you have the, the sidelines and the end line that kind of make it cramped. And so um, there is a level of timing and spacing that has to be there. And I think, you know, at times we've been good at that through the year. At times we need to be better. And so, uh, again, you know, I think um, we need to rep it. We need to practice it. We need to, to get to work. That's the only way, you know, I know to, to improve. And um, we certainly need improvement. I am, you know, I, I feel like I've done everything I can to, to protect myself and, um, you know, I, I'm, I have my booster and, and I feel comfortable. So I feel good about, you know, myself and what I've done to try and protect myself as best I can. Were you in favor of that change for the league, though, in terms of the not to test vaccinated folks anymore? Um, yeah, I think, you know, I don't get involved in those things. I never have uh, when it comes to you know, th those kind of decision-making things. I kind of generally let that to the people who are more involved, uh, who understand that stuff better than I. I usually just, whatever the rules are, try and follow them as best I can and make sure, you know, in a case like COVID, I, you know, I've tried to do everything I can and what I feel comfortable with to, to protect myself.